Hey guys, JC6 here. Back at you with Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Let me go ahead and take a good drink from my uh, cup of um, coffee. Well, let's see. We are pretty much at the last last part. Well, very close to finishing trial four. So let's see what Von Karma's gotta say about this. I saw no room for error in his confession. Then the defendant Miles Edgeworth is innocent in this case, at least. In this case. Okay, if Edgeworth can just. For this particular case. Finds the defendant Miles Edgeworth. Yes! Yes! We just saved. Wait, wait a second. What are you doing, Edgeworth? Dude, please, please tell me. I object to your judgment. What do you mean? I'm not innocent at all. I said I've heard Danny Yogi kill Robert Hammond in revenge. Revenge for what? I'm trying to confess. He's guilty. I don't know if I was, I, if I was a murderer and nine years old, why the why the hell would I confess to that? I'm only nine years old. Really, if you're nine years old, you murder somebody? You're just a kid. Give give the guy a break. I mean, why is he confessing to? Even if he did kill his dad, I mean, he's just a kid. Jimmy, I mean, crap. Raise an objection. Yes! Yes! Objection! Yes! I object to God damn it! It's worth this. Don't make things complicated. I think Von Karma though. What the hell is Von Karma's problem, though? Why would he write a plan for Yanni Yogi to follow? The, seriously, why do I... I'm not even sure if I want... But really, Edgeworth just... Just, just, just shut up, Edgeworth. Just shut... Shut your, shut your, just shut up and maybe, you know, we can. Oh God, please, the, for the love of all, please, just, just stop it. Damn it. You just made my life harder. Edgeworth just made things harder for me, for him, for he just made things harder for everybody. appropriate course of action to take. Okay, Miles, he just... or... he just pretty much just... <laughs> uh, 
I don't know what the heck you just did, but you just what? But you pretty much already just uh um <laughs> uh I don't I don't know I think but whatever I, maybe whatever let's just keep going I just don't believe it pal kill your dad that's the truth I deserve to be punished punished for what. Huh? Oh, I just just reading through the core record once more. What are you talking about, pal? You just admitted to it. That's right. So Phoenix is gonna say that Edgeworth. This is this is this is the bright side to it. Even if Miles is declared guilty, he was only nine years old, so they can say something about him being a juvenile. Yeah, something about being. Yeah, something about him being. So, you know, I think pretty much. Pretty much, no matter if he's guilty or not, it's not really gonna amount to crap. As far as him getting a serious sentence, like maybe if he, I don't think he's gonna get any. I don't think it's it's gonna amount to any serious imprisonment for Edgeworth or something, even if he's guilty. But um, you know that's. Nope, sounds good. That day I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my father's trials. As we went to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. Mr. York lost their composure and began to argue, just as something heavy fell at my feet. Picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted him to stop fighting. There was a single gunshot. Then I scream. Terrible scream. I remember to this day. That's all. Let's see, um... That day I got to the courtroom room, went to leave, an earthquake struck. Wait a second. He says it contradicts the evidence. That means we're supposed to present evidence? Wait a second, wait a second. Still bears clear ballistic markings. Here it is! Yeah, see, a good, 
I wouldn't notice if I didn't seen the um, let's play before, but do you see that gunshot right at the door? See the see there's one there's one gunshot at the door and one gunshot for for the heart for, for uh, what what the body there's pretty much implied that there's two gunshots because you know the body um you know is injured and then there's a gunshot at the door so if I didn't see this before I I don't know if I. This would be kind of hard to figure out, but yeah, it's pretty much this one. <clears throat> Let me present it. Wait a second, I gotta present this. So there was only one gunshot. Yeah, I think that's why Phoenix knew that Edgeworth was innocent, because why is there a gunshot at the door? Look at this photograph. This is a photograph of the scene of the crime 15 years ago. This is a clear contradiction between your testimony and this picture. I see that the victim lying there is Gregory Edgeworth. What do you mean contradiction? As always, the judge is clueless. But I don't blame the judge. The judge, pretty much when you're judging stuff, you gotta make a lot of assumptions, so... So much stuff going through your head is no wonder. Sometimes the judge can't see. The judge are, is already using so much mental power. He's like, you know, how much, how much more thinking am I supposed to do in my head? This should be obvious. The contradiction is here. A bullet hole in the door. Now, Miles Andrew testifies that there was only one gunshot. I will point to this photograph, not one, but two shots were fired! One shot hit the victim, the other hit the elevator door. I ask you then, why did Miles Andrew only hear one gunshot? Nothing to do with this incident. Wait a second, what was... Who that was caught at the time of the incident? Um, if I say no, that means all, that pretty much means, that pretty much means, like, everything I said up to this point just means jack squat if I say no, because I'm pretty much saying the second, I'm pretty much saying that there was two gunshots, which, which, I think pretty much I have to say yes at this point. I don't know why, I just feel that I could try to explain it, but it's, I think you gotta say yes. Because if you say no, pretty much what it means is you lost. You're admitting your defeat, I guess. Pretty much you lost the case if you say no, I think. So let's see. So that's the job of being a lawyer is that even when the truth, even when you're not completely sure I think you still gotta just at least as far as this game's concerned you just gotta keep you gotta say yes otherwise you lose Let's see DL6 incident Oh yeah, there we go, there we go. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold up a second. This is the evidence. What? That wasn't it? Are you serious? Victim, what about victim? Oh, there we go, there we go, DL6 incident. 
I thought it might have been the bullet because there was only one bullet found. Uh, there was only one bullet found, so I um yeah, it's victim data actually. Uh, yeah, it's, vi it's victim data because it says the thing was fired twice. So that's I know for some reason my, the way I was thinking about it was that since there was only one I was thinking something about um something about I'm not sure I, th I think it was something something that had to do with a missing bullet or something that's what I was thinking like there was only one bullet so there had to be a missing bullet or something that's why I showed the plastic bag with the bullet because I thought there was only it was it's supposed to prove there was a missing bullet or something. And it made sense in my mind. But you know, I guess I don't know let's see, well, let's move on. Time of the instant two shots were fired. Hit the elevator door. Fired by someone else. Well, let's see. Well, next time we're gonna have to find out what Von Karma has to say about this. Um. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I will see you guys next time.